in this session under the botany we will talk about that concepts which are going to be important for your upcoming neat exam in the list what you are looking uh, in my background right there is a list of the chapters from plus 1 in the next list i am taking the list of the chapters from botany from plus 2 right so this is rohini gupta uh, faculty from botany department and i am going to take this session just to talk on the concept just now i discussed means the important topics under these given list of the chapters which we are considering under the botany so let's take for the plus 1 so plus 1 ncrt book the very first chapter given in that index that is the living world although it is given as the first chapter but its weightage is very less so if you are revising the things and you are after that that we have to go with the important then keep this chapter at last i am not saying don't revise it revise that but in the priority list it should be in the last and important topic under the living world where they mostly create the questions that will be the binomial nomenclature and diversity where the value of the total number of species come and in the last some examples even have been given for its classification right so if you want to in the last you have to go with step by step with this chapter then these are the important areas which you have to cover in the living world right now coming to the next chapter biological classification this is very important chapter along with plant kingdom planet to complete if you are revising again i am repeating if you are near to the revision then better take biological classification with combination with plant kingdom and it is going to important let me to take for biological classification why it is important due to the frequently asked question mainly on the topic fungus and even on viruses viroids and prions and lichens which are given in the last of the chapter but i never say that this is the only topics you have to go i am saying these are very very important topic and rest of the topics obviously important but don't miss to read that topics they are going to important and suggestion to you people that how to cover the biological classification like suppose you have picked up protista as a kingdom so you have so many uh, groups under that better to learn in comparison it will be easy for you to retain for longer time right next challenge what student face that is by examples then try to develop some mnemonic or if not possible then look to the diagrams sometimes the pictures or diagram when you are looking that the concept is strong for long time so go with the diagrams important as per your neat exam examples also reason because maybe they are not giving you the heading instead of heading they are giving you the examples over there right so it goes both with the biological classification as well as plant kingdom but specifically if i talk about plant kingdom the most important topic there will be the gymnosperms and even before that alga also many questions have been framed from the alga part means three classes they have given over there chlorophyce phyophyce and rhodophyce many questions have been framed from there next important will be the gymnosperms so these are the top most in the list rest of all are even important please go through that these two chapter is having high weightage right now coming to the next morphology of flowering plant this is always the top most priority in our list morphology right many question you will find it is framed from the morphology of flowering plant but specifically from which part this is from flower right like in this uh, in the last neat exam also maybe you have seen the questions uh, clearly after your exam you analyze the question paper you will find there many questions are there or match the column you will find on estivation placentation right so these topics are going to be important and diagram even was based on flower one of the diagram from the type of flower they have given based on the position of the gynaecium so flower topic is most important and uh, new families just now they introduce so please go through that nicely and i again suggest you have to go with the comparison if you have paragraphs in your ncert book na make one habit to split every paragraph break it into lines then after that go with the flow charts making flow chart is easy comfortable and will help you to retain the things for very long time right 
Okay, now coming to the next anatomy of flowering plants. Usually students are having in this chapter the, the problem with the transverse sections. Like we have total six transverse sections here. Means monocot, dicot, their stem, their roots, their leaves. Right. So in that case again your diagram will work. Keep an image in your mind of the transverse sections and definitely do compare it. If I talk about dicot, uh, you can say for root and for monocot root, then their differences are very less and the similarities will be more. But if I am discussing about stem part, comparison with dicot and monocot, then dissimilarities will be more. Similarities you will find very less. So likewise, you have to compare and go with. No doubt secondary growth they had deleted, but still go with the important headings over there like periderm is important and do learn the periderm further consist of which three layers do remember that and even within a full chapter the important single single term like if I am saying bully form cells this is a separate and unique type of the term must prefer to learn all these terms especially written in black letters dark bold letters they have given in NCRT just go with that right so after the anatomy you are having very important unit now unit means cell structure and function under which what is going to come you are having these uh, topic under that means cell the unit of life biomolecule cell cycle and cell division it all three chapters come under cell structure and function this full unit is very important every year six to eight questions or maximum I can go with the eight and minimum five to six like that range is there for this unit right because cell the unit of life you will find some question they had asked from out of NCRT also like for example P and Q arms in the chromosomes even the lamb brush chromosome polytene chromosome so probability of such question is even higher from this chapter but keep in your mind when you are learning from NCRT, you should not make wrong from these concepts, which is already there in your NCRT book, right? Okay, so in that NCRT book, make a strong grip. If they ask you out of NCRT, then out of NCRT till now from this chapter, they asked for P and Q arms in chromosome, means long arm you call it as Q arm and P arm is a short arm, right? Which is in submetacentric and acrocentric chromosomes, right? Now coming to biomolecules, why this chapter is very important because it is linked to the other chapters also. For example, a small example like nucleic acid is there. If you are having good knowledge of nucleic acids, it's bonding, forming the polymerization. Then I feel in molecular basis of inheritance, you can understand the role of polymerase enzyme that how bonding is happening. What is three prime? What is five prime? you can able to understand that concept, right? So this is again important chapter for you people. And in biomolecules, the tables what they have given, right? The table forms are very important and most important table in biomolecules is about the secondary metabolites. Like for example, they have given there for lactin, concavalin A, they had given that example, that table I am talking about secondary metabolites right so be focused on everything but at the nick of time sometime you don't have time so don't miss to read at least these topics right now coming to the next cell cycle cell division this chapter is important based on numerical point of view no doubt concept also right type of questions what they are asking definitely tomorrow in our session we will take based on pyqs how you can build you are more score from there, we will take that point there. But right now I am just talking about what type of questions and what type of concept you have to cover to secure your best score in your upcoming NEET exam. So based on that cell cycle, cell division, this is important based on numerical part, right? Like meiosis is the most important topic and it is linked to your chapter in plus two sexual reproduction in flowering plant, where we will talk about 
that in the embryo sac or how embryo sac have been created first of all like megaspore mother cell undergo meiosis to form megaspore three degenerate one functional then that functional give rise to embryo sac so that story in the male and female in uh, the chapter sexual reproduction in flowering plant that is little bit based on this chapter also right so this is even important then coming to photosynthesis in higher plant respiration in plant plant growth and development these three chapters comes under physiology now you know that in plant physiology two chapters have been related transportation in plants second is the mineral nutrition so obviously now these three chapters as compared to previous is having good weightage we are expecting from each chapter like one question or two question they can ask right so photosynthesis what portion is important it is important like c3 c4 plants that is important just go through that and even factors like last neat exam they ask you for dark reaction what components are required so you should know what are the uh, you can say products of light reaction and what is going to use in the dark reaction c3 c4 cycle uh, you have to go with you should know the difference between that right then for respiration in plants here in this chapter from every topic they are keeping one question or the second question they keep on changing the topic every year if they are planning for respiration in plants but for your understanding point of view etc you are feeling tough so better have a grip on that so that you feel confident on this chapter right now coming to the next plant growth and development here most important topic will be pgrs plant growth uh, that uh, uh, these are the plant growth hormones that you call it as PGRs. So, in plant growth hormones, the important will be their physiological roles like auxins, cytokinins, gibberellins are there. So, their physiological roles are there, right? So, this is about plus one NCRT book that which areas you must be strong. You should be strong for NCRT book. It is a like a formula in your hand. You have to go through that every line with the understanding. But again, I repeat, if you in dilemma that what I have to pick at the nick of time, so I feel these tips can help you out. Let me to remind you once again, please go through the diagrams. Very important, check the labeling. This year you have two diagrams which they have given from morphology of flowering plants. One diagram of monocot seed, okay, you can say it is shared between the morphology chapter and the sexual reproduction in flowering plant, right? So, diagram is important. Do read the introduction of the chapter where they are usually discussing about the scientist, just the work done by the scientist. Just go through that. Read the summary also where sometimes some word is given which is not explained in the chapter and preferably go with the new NCRT book, right? So, any changes what they kept at finally, they will pick up the new NCRT book to give you the correct key over there, right? Now, coming for the next, that is for the plus 2 NCRT, what chapters are important in there and which concept you have to focus more. See, in this plus 2, they already deleted the least, uh, you can say, important uh, chapter. That will be strategies, they already deleted. Reproduction organism, they already deleted. But do remember, when you are discussing the chapter strategies, in the last, earlier you found tissue culture. They had removed the tissue culture from strategy and kept into the chapter biotechnology and its application, right? So, it's important to go with that, right? And uh, now let's go with the chapter 2 chapter with the plus 2 NCRT book. So, these chapters we are including here under the botany from plus 2. Sexual reproduction in flowering plant, which area is most important here? Definitely here the concept of like uh, when you go with the embryo sac, the structure of that, this is important. Pollination, most important. So, based on pollinators, they can ask you the question. Even double fertilization, then on the seeds, they can ask you the questions. So, cover that area and don't miss other also. But do revise, focus this the most, right? Then after that, principles of inheritance and variation. Under botany, we are taking this chapter up to the 
uh, linkage and recombination. After the means uh, from sex determination, that topic will be for the zoology part. But up to the linkage and recombination, what you have to take care, definitely numerical part again in this chapter and mostly asked from the like the uh, one gene inheritance from monohybrid crosses, it have been asked. And for understanding part, please do cover the linkage and recombination that will give you confidence to cover up this chapter at last, right? And being important also. Then after molecular basis of inheritance, most important chapter, right? It is having <clears throat> so many questions which can be framed from here. If I go with the botany part, we are dealing this chapter molecular basis of inheritance up to lack of prawn model, right? So, if I join the uh, human genome project also, so many questions are framed from this single chapter, 7 to 8 questions. We can take it from only molecular basis of inheritance. Some questions they are taking from biomolecules, but being some concept common, sometimes we kept it under molecular basis of inheritance. Most important topic here is transcription, right? To start with from the beginning, transcriptional unit, even the process of transcription and even in eukaryote, the distribution of the work among the polymerase 1, 2 and 3, very important, right? And even when you are learning about lacopron, even it becomes very important to understand what is lacopron and diagram given on the lacopron, right? Now coming to the next microbes in human welfare, this is very small little chapter but learning work is more over there and most important page in this chapter when you will talk about chemical enzymes and other active type of the molecules, that page is very important. We are finding almost every year one question from that page and next important topic is the sewage, sewage treatment where microbes are helping, right? So, do remember microbes in human welfare even you have to cover. Then is the biotechnology, I am considering altogether principles and processes, even biotechnology and its application. If I club these two chapters, again after molecular basis of inheritance or you can say equal to molecular basis of inheritance, this is having still very high weightage, right? Again, we can accept, expect 5 to 6 questions from here and most important area will be that like cloning vector they had given and even selectable marker portion from there. This is very important. Gel electrophoresis, again very important from that portion. BT cotton coming from the biotechnology and its application. Again next over there. BT cotton is shared as a topic in microbes and in biotechnology. Microbes just they are telling about the role of that bacteria. But in biotechnology, how we improvise that and making that as a better species to give us the better crop that we are discussing. Again, I repeat, in biotechnology and its application, they had introduced the tissue culture topic. Earlier, it was in strategies, but strategy chapter deleted, but still their tissue culture topic is given in new books under biotechnology and its application. Please do cover all the points and definitely I feel that this type of uh, interaction between us will help you somewhere right so please do go with the all the topics very nicely ncrt is most important to cover right calculate your time in how much time you are solving the question don't solve the question without fixing the time it will give you the accuracy and how much best you can give in that small slot of time right that's all from the botany part